So we've got a brand new unboxing here from Arrow Video, all the way from uh, Zavi. So yeah, we're just going to open this up. Enjoy. How we doing, folks? It's your boy back at it again here on another late night. How we all doing? So like I said in the intro, got a new box here from Arrow Video. It is a brand new release. Uh, literally just come out this week. And yeah, it's a new 4K limited edition set. So we're just going to open up. We're not going to waste any time doing this. It's been a long day for me. I've been waiting to get home and open this. So yeah, without any further ado, basically almost got it open. Oops. Going to bloody drop it because that's the sort of geezer we are. So yeah. We take all of this out. Get that out of here. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's when Titans ruled earth ruled the earth ruled the earth yeah so we've got the clash of the uh titans remake and the sequel wrath of the titans here on 4k limited edition uh special feature double pack here uh released to us from legendary and warner brothers so this is the, the second uh warner brothers release that we seem to have had uh, through our video because we literally just had the guy Ritchie man from uncle release 4k limited edition and now we have this so yeah i'm getting a first look of it right now i really do love the artwork here on the front, I must say, and so, uh, it looks like it's oh, it's a sleeve, sleeve. It is a sleeve, like uh, the Blood and Black la ra lace release, stuff like that. But yeah, I am a big fan of monster movies. Uh, I'm a big fan of the original. I'm actually quite a fan of the uh, remake. I saw it in cinemas when it came out. Uh, Wrath of the Titans. I think I've seen briefly once year when it came out. I can't remember much about it, so it'd be good to revisit this. But I didn't want to pass up on this lovely limited edition 4K. I can't lie to you. Uh, even so, I'm going to take the cellophane off. So yeah, there, there is the box there. Much nicer out of the artwork. Very nice. Quite like this. I'm going to see if it's exactly the same. Yeah, it is exactly the same on the inside, but we have artwork all the way around. So sit on the sides and then uh, to show you what the back art is. So we've got the crack in there. Very nice. Medusa. This is nice. And then we've got the two discs inside i will read to you i'll read you the limited edition content uh, 4k ultra hd 2160p blu-rays presentations on both films in Dolby vision hdr 10 compatible original 5.1 dts hd ma surround audio for both films optional english subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing illustrated collector's booklet containing new writings by author and critics guy adams and film scholar josh nelson Double-sided fold-out posters for each film featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Joe Wilson. Six postcard-sized art cards, reversible sleeves featuring original and newly commissioned artwork. So that is the limited edition content. Uh, I will get into the special features uh, in, a, in a sec for when I get both discs out and look at the artwork. But yeah, uh, so the first one's from 2010. The second one is from 2012, so that means they were two years apart. So yeah, it's nice to have a... A slip box like this i feel like this can get damaged quite easily so i'm just gonna pop that to the side and i'm gonna get us into the actual discs themselves so yeah nice hard box as always glad it's like that prefer getting the hard boxes over the paper ones uh the artwork on this i would prefer this to be a bit rigid more original there but it's the same artwork just without the title all the way around um so yeah at least it's got writings and so it's got writings in as proper and then obviously stills and stuff like that, which is nice. So the contents, uh, cast and crew, pages five to seven, uh, Clash of the Titans, Money, Myths and Morals by, that's by Josh Nelson. And It's All Greek by Guy Adams about the transfer on page 58 and production credits on page 59. So I think we shall skip back to about the transfer. Clash of the Titans, uh, Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans has been remastered by Arrow Films, Clash of the Clash of the Titans is presented in its original aspect ratio of 2.39.1 with 5.1 uh, audio. Wrath of the Titans is presented in its original aspect ratio of 1.851 with 5.1 audio. On the 4K Ultra HD release of the films, these are presented in a 4K resolution in HD R10 in and Dolby Vision. On the Blu-ray release, the film are presented in standard dynamic range. The, the 2D, uh, the 2K DI feature master data was supplied by Warner Brothers. Uh, the films were restored and graded at Dublatech. All materials sourced for these new masters were available by Warner Brothers VIA Pix Pixie Logic. Uh, restoration supervised by James White and James Perisi uh, at Arrow Films. Very, very nice. So, yeah, all sourced from Warner Brothers. So, yeah, it's nice to have a know about the transfer. But, yeah, 
Oh, it's an alright little booklet. Can't complain. Okay, 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 okay. I quite like these art. I quite like the artwork on these uh, on these discs. So here we have the uh, new release there of Clash of the Titans, which is very nice. Oh, there's three art cards for each film and a poster. So we'll go through the. I think I can't remember what's his name. That's uh, writing Pegasus. The iconic shot from the original poster and Blu-ray. And we have him flying in to fight the Kraken, and on the back is uh, the same artwork as the disc, which is very nice. And on the inside, we have one of our standard cards. I don't know what this one is for. No idea. And the disc on the front there is the same as the artwork, which is nice. So we shall flip the artwork, which is that standard poster. So there you go, that would be what your reversible artwork on there would be. So the special edition content for this one is the 4K uh, transfer, which I've told you about. The original uh, 5.1 DTS HD surround sound audio, optional English subtitles. Uh, Galing Mount Olympus, a brand new interview with producer Basil Iwanek. Zeus, father of gods and men. Enter the world of Hades. Calibos, the man behind the monster. Scolophia, or oh, that is actors and their stunts. Wales, a beautiful scarred landscape. Bring Medusa to life. Prepare the Kraken. Sam Worthington, an action hero for ages, ages featurette. Uh, alternative ending, deleted scenes, theatrical uh, trailer, and imagery. So I'm assuming that those are all uh, old um, featurettes that have been transported onto this disc. So yeah, very nice. Very nice there. I do quite like that, but I don't know if I'm going to swap it over to the other artwork. Who knows? But yeah, this is different to the Blu-ray that I have. I'll, I'll when I go watch the films and because I'm going to compare it to the old, old Blu-ray, so I'll get that out and I'll show you what that is later in the video. So poster. Yeah, oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting, but it's just the same, like that, like that. So yeah, normally a bigger poster is like three by three, isn't it? Of these like folded little parts, but yeah, so that's like that. Mm, kind of good. It's not as big as uh, I was expecting it to be, which is a shame. That is what she said. But yeah, that is Clash of the Titans there. Very nice. And then we got Wrath of the Titans. And I must say, I really do love that artwork on there. I think that it looks really, really cool. Really do like uh, the look of that. Uh, special features on this one is the same about the transfer and the surround sound audio and the subtitles. Uh, Unleash the Beast, a brand new interview with the producer as well. Uh, who are the Titans? Avestus, God of Fire, is that how you say it? Avestus, I'm not sure. Lost in Tartarus, Labyrinth, uh, Creatures of, of the Titans, Path of Men, Behind the Scenes, uh, Battling the Chiroma, Chima? I don't know. Agenor, the other demigods, uh, the Cyclops fight, Prison, Prison of Titans, Minotaur, the Human Nightmare, Heaven's... The Heavens Raised Hell on Earth, deleted scenes, theatrical trailers, and image gallery. So I'm assuming there's one brand new interview for both of these, and all of the rest of them are archival stuff, and plus deleted scenes, theatrical trailer, and image gallery. Uh, yeah, so this one, oh yeah, I should say the runtime for this one is 106 minutes, and this one is a 99 minutes. I was about to say 199 minutes, Jesus Christ, could you imagine? So yeah, disc artwork is all the same. So we have this art card. Yeah. And we have what's his face there. There we go. And on the back is the same, but without the title. Very nice. And again, one of these small posters. Uh, I'm assuming there and there. Very nice. Again, wish they were bigger, personally. Again, that is what she said. And I'm assuming that the artwork on the other side is the exact is the other side. Yes, it is. And just like that, there it is. Very nice. Well, hmm, I think they're a bit plain wise. I don't know if I'm going to keep them like that, but I'll, I will decide. But yeah, so that is the limited, that is the unboxing segment of this done. I'm going to go, I'm going to put it all back together for you so you can see it before. I... All right, so yeah, I'm going to go whack this in the player. I'm going to go see what I think of the transfers and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Stay right there. So I'm back from watching When Titans Ruled the Earth. So obviously both films. And we're going to talk about it. Obviously that's why I went to go watch them. To see what we think about them. So obviously starting with the first 
uh, Clash of the Titans, the 4K transfer. So what did I think of the 4K transfer? I think it was actually a quite a solid transfer uh, all round. Like it was a very sharp image. I will give it that. Normally, with I, I normally haven't uh, across the board. Normally, I don't have a problem with Warner Brother transfers or anything to do with Warner Brothers. And I did uh, watch the majority of this Blu-ray, and I must say the the covers here, like this is the Blu-ray from ten years ago, ten odd plus years ago, and this is obviously now way better poster. What were they thinking with that one? Even the original art on this one is better. But, yeah, a much sharper image. It was very clean. There was no noticeable grain in any places. I really like it. Uh, Colours felt very natural to this uh, fantasy tale, whereas this was a very, in a lot of places, felt very blurry, uh, felt washed out, um, overexposed, where I feel like they got a nice balance of everything on here. Yeah, the image, uh, very... Very nice. I can't fault the transfer. I think it was very nice for this uh, film. This film is uh, 14 years old now at this point. So it did look pretty good. Obviously with that, uh, I will say some of the CGI did look very dated. Uh, it didn't take any enjoyment away from the film itself. I will say that. Uh, just some bits with the Scorpions and Medusa. Uh, they were very dated effects. But also with the film itself, it's a, ni it's a nice mix of CGI and practical effects. As well, which I'll give it, well, I'll, which I will give it that, which kind of helps uh, mask. Like, if it was all CG in a lot of places, I feel like it would have hammered, like, hampered the film, uh, which is good. So I'm glad that they uh, had that nice mix. Like the guy who's like uh, basically got bark for skin, he looked really cool. Uh, the guy when they have to give a coin. Uh, to the ferryman to get to the underworld the the guy the ferryman himself is so cool but like, there are some fantastic practical designs in this movie which yeah so i uh, really ha very happy with the transfer actually compared to the, it's a nice upgrade from the blu-ray i will give it that uh whether that will they'll do this on a single release uh who knows but yeah the film itself um i will say i remember enjoying it a lot more because i went and watched this in the cinema when it first came out and I did enjoy it quite a lot back then. On a rewatch, I didn't enjoy it as much. I do prefer the original because I'm a big fan of Ray Harryhausen and all those effects. So I will say that. But I still found a lot of enjoyment in this film. Uh, it was very of the 2010s. I do think that there are some things I didn't like. Like, I, the, right, the cast itself, I, when I'm going into it, I thought, fucking hell, it is so stacked. Like, Sam Worthington, obviously coming off of Terminator Salvation and uh, Avatar... Uh, Liam Neeson, Ray Fiennes, like there's so many massive actors and well-known actors in this film. I just totally forgot how stacked it was. I was like, wow, Jesus Christ. Speaking of Sam Worthington, uh, obviously they were trying to push him to be like this leading man, obviously off Terminator Salvation and Avatar, but I don't know if he really works in this film because I don't know what he's doing with his accent. <laughs> like he keeps, go he keeps swapping between and I don't know. Ray finds his raspy voice of... um as playing Hades I felt like he's just doing a, a dumbed down version of Voldemort like obviously because he was massive doing Harry Potter at the time as well so I think it kind of kinds off of like a B-Tech version of that which is a shame because he's Ray, Ray Fiennes is a fantastic actor he's one of the best British actors uh, Liam Neeson feels like he's not doing a lot as well he's not putting a lot of emotive energy into it which is a shame but overall the action sequences are quite fun like I like well, obviously like I said the Scorpions are quite um are quite dated today but i also enjoy the sequences like uh when the kraken comes out at the end looks fantastic as well um some of the water effects coming down on the screen do kind of hamper the transfer but at the same time it's great to see it i love these sort of monster movies uh, like like i said i'm a massive ray harry has fa fan like the beast from Twenty Thousand fathoms that's one of my favorite movies of all time uh the original clash of the uh, titans but yeah, I do get a lot of enjoyment out of this movie, so I was I was quite pleasantly surprised with that. I thought I was gonna maybe hate it more than I did because it's obviously been a f good years. It's probably been over a decade since I've watched this film, so I was kind of worried going into it that I wasn't gonna like it as much. But yeah, still I still found quite a lot of enjoyment out of this, and yeah, yeah, it was quite it was quite fun. It was quite entertaining. Um, nice 4K transfer, so I'm actually quite happy with this. Can't lie to you, but yeah, Clash of the Titans, not as bad, like not as great as I remember, but also nowhere near like it's probably like if I was to put it on the phone, like here's how much I enjoyed it before, 
and it's probably gone down about that much. So a little bit, but not too much. Nothing that I'd think to myself, fuck me, I'm never watching this movie again. Because after watching these two movies, I was like, I'd, I would definitely give these two movies a go. So, Wrath of the Titans. What do I think about this? Now, everyone always slates this film. And to be fair, after watching this, I forgot I actually hadn't watched this movie all the way through. I must have got bored back in the day. But yeah, re-watching, uh, watch, sorry, watching this fully for the first time. I will talk about the transfer. I will say it's not as strong as Clash of the Titans. I think this uh, felt a little bit inconsistent. Uh, there was a lot more notice noticeable grain in this one, I will say, compared to Clash of the Titans. Um, the best parts where the transfer looked absolutely crisp was probably when it was a mainly CGI background. So like when we're in the prison where Kronos is being held uh, or when you see him at out of the volcano those shots look fucking fantastic like uh, the cg didn't even look that bad to be fair in most parts there were a few points in this movie which the cg did look very dated example when you go down to the underworld for the first time and you see zeus meet up with um Ares and poseidon like the, that that looked awful that that did look absolutely awful but there's quite a lot of points in this movie where the cg really does look pretty good to be fair um Sequel wise, I think I thought I was going to hate this movie way more than I did. Like, it felt a little bit unnecessary. I feel like everything was tied up in Clash of the Titans, but then this came out, obviously, and I watched it again. Some of my opinions on Sam Worthington. I just don't know if he's really carrying this film for most of the time. I will say, though, Liam Neeson and Ray Fiennes feel like they're a lot more emotive in this. Uh, Ray Fiennes has dropped the raspiness of his Hades, and I really much I much prefer that. The, I prefer those two in this movie than uh, Clash of the Titans, I will say, because, yeah, a lot more emotive. Uh, I feel like they're having more fun with it. Yeah, uh, Bill Nye, as well, gives a fantastic performance as the guy who... Uh, made all the uh god's weapons and stuff like that he's uh, i really like his uh northern accent he's putting on in that he's quite fun uh the lead guy from rock and roller is in this is a uh, poseidon's half son no son who's obviously the same as uh sam worthington's pervia uh perseus uh and he's also great in this as well um but yeah overall it felt a little unnecessary as a sequel but it didn't feel as unnecessary as something like Pacific Rim Uprising, because I'd probably compare both of those, to be fair, following films that are pretty... Well, actually, no, I really... Sorry. Clash of the, the Clash of the Times remake is nowhere near as good. No. is nowhere near as good as Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim is a great movie, whereas that's a pretty, pretty all right movie, whereas Pacific Rim is a pretty great movie, whereas this is way better than Pacific Rim Uprising. It doesn't feel... It feels a little unnecessary, but nothing uh, totally unjustified, if you ask me personally. Yeah, some things weren't amazing, but overall it was pretty silly. It was pretty entertaining. Like I wasn't bored or anything. It was both of these movies uh, go quite fast. To be fair, to be fair, yeah, it's probably all I've really got to say on the matter. To be fair, I didn't hate this as much as I thought I was going to. Pretty entertaining. I would rewatch this. And overall, from the actual set itself, I'm actually really glad that I picked this up. So for someone who is a fan of these sort of movies, I personally am really happy that I picked this up. Oh, actually, I will talk about the monster designs quickly because I've just thought, like, looking at the looking at this, uh, the Minotaur is quite interesting. I thought he looked more like a ball. He kind of looks more like the demon from Doom 20, uh, 2016 in a little way. The Cyclops is in Wrath of Titans also. Uh, wasn't a massive fan of the design. They look very... That's probably where the ropey CGI came for a bit more. Uh, I must say, I wish they kind of went for more of a design of like the Sinbad um, Cyclops, if you ask me, that would have been way cooler. But yeah, no, overall, I'm actually really happy with this set. Uh, I Obviously, when thinking about this, I thought I've heard a lot of people not liking these movies. And I thought to myself, oh, is my opinion of these movies going to change watching this? And no, to be fair, I'm actually really happy with this. I think something on the design wise that I thought about while watching the movies, I was like, why is Wrath of the Titans on the front? And then Clash on the back. Surely it should be Clash to Wrath. But overall, yeah, no. Really happy with this set. Love the artwork. Um, it's nice to have it in this nice digi pack. I know a lot of people are probably going to complain that these aren't um, uh, cult films. But at the same time, these aren't that popular, if you ask me personally. Like, I don't hear a lot of people talking about 
the Clash of the Titans or the Wrath of the Titans in a lot of monster movie videos. Some montages, they pop up here and there, but overall, not really talked about enough. Yeah, overall, I'm actually quite happy with this set. Uh, yeah, £35 for the two, uh, for this limited edition box set. I, I'm actually quite happy with my purchase. But yeah, the like also, better transfer than these old Blu-rays. So that's going to be going to CEX, with a lot of other stuff that's um, that needs to be sent to CEX. But yeah, Anyway, guys, that is my unboxing review of the Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans double pack, When Titans Rule the Earth. Sorry, I should have said. Uh, have you bought this set? Let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of these movies? Uh, I'm expecting quite a lot of people to say they're not. So, either or, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, cheers. If you watched it to the end, love you lots. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that will be. Probably another unboxing. But, yeah, have a safe day guys enjoy your evening enjoy your day hopefully it all goes well and yeah that's me signing out bye